Hello guys and welcome to a quick little Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a built-in add-on that comes with Blender. It's called IV Gen and as the name implies it allows you to generate IVs with just a click of a button. Here you can see is one example that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. The only thing you need to keep in mind is even though it generates this IV for you, you have to add your own materials to the um, leaves and the sticks. I'll cover all of that. But that's not really a big deal. Just having the IV generated for you over a selected object is all you need to do. So let's jump into this and hopefully you guys can use it in some of your upcoming projects. So I'm going to be using Blender 3.3 for this tutorial, um, but any version that you're working with should have this exactly the same. So you're going to go to edit first of all, and then you can go to preferences and just under your add-ons, um, you don't have to download it. Once again, it's just built into Blender. You need to come up here to the search and just type in IV. And you're going to see here, add curve IV gen. Now I've already have it ticked. Yours might not be. So go ahead and enable it. Once that's enabled, you can close this. And then if you press N and you go over to your properties, you're going to go down here um, to the create and you see here IV generator. All right, so we have that little drop down here and here's where all the settings are. And that's pretty much it. So let's quickly grab a round object. That I think is a bit better. So I'm just going to delete that cube and I'm going to go shift a, I'm just going to add in a UV sphere. I'm going to give it a subdivision surface modifier and just apply that. And then I'm going to go right click and shade smooth. So now we have a nice round object to test this on. I'm just going to delete the current camera. And in the front view, I'm just going to go shift a, add in a quick camera and I'm just going to move it back in the scene like this. Okay. So now we have just a little example. So what you want to do is you want to get your 3d cursor. So you can just come up here to your cursor, click on that. And then if you click on the surface here, it'll add it to wherever you're clicking. So if I click here, you can see it's on the surface there. So just in the camera view, I'm just going to click down here and naturally it'll just generate upwards. So I'm going to place it more down here somewhere. Then I'm going to go back to my move tool. I'm going to select the um, UV sphere. That's the object I want to add it to. And now if you click add IV, um, new IV, you can see here it's added in the IV. And that's just how it is out of the box. But what you can do, if you don't like that, you can just undo it. And then you can come here to some of these things. Like for example, the seed, the random seed value, changing that to whatever will change things a little bit. So now when we do it, you can see it's a bit different. Shift Z to undo. Let's go change the seed again. And you see exactly what we're doing here. Another thing you can do is you can change the branch pro um, probability. And then that'll change things a bit. So let's go add new IV. And you can see that makes a difference. And also you got the IV size here and the IV length. You can mess around with those as well on top of the seed value and then go add new IV. And you can see sometimes it's beneficial, sometimes it's not. So if you ever want to change something, you can just go over the value and just backspace to reset it. But just messing around till you get something you like really is the way to go about this. So um, I'll probably just increase the length a little bit and increase the seed and see what I get. So I'm going to try and make mine. Let's see what we get here. I'm just going to keep doing it till I get something I like. I might make the branch probability a little bit higher. Almost getting there. Okay, something like that looks fine. You guys can mess around with it all you want till you get the results that you like. But now if you go Z and you go rendered, you're going to notice, um, in fact, let's just add in a quick area light. You're going to notice that by default, it's just these little planes here, right? Which is no good, but it's not actually that bad because what it does for you automatically is that UV unwraps these little um, squares here, just little planes. So all you have to do, and in fact, if you go to your UV editing, you can see they're all unwrapped. So all you have to do is go ahead and select these leaves in object mode. You can go to your materials, just create a new material. And then you can just go to your shading and there are a bazillion different leaf textures you can get online. But I just downloaded a leaf and what I did is I came here, I grabbed the base color and just dragged it and typed an image and I just got an image texture. And then on my computer somewhere, I saved that and I'll quickly show you guys. Over here, it's just a leaf.png. I just went into GIMP and I cut out around the leaf to get rid of the background. So it's got an alpha transparency and I went open image. And now um, I'm going to quickly also go in to cycles here. 
if you go Z and you go rendered, you're going to see that the alpha by default should render black. So all you have to do, and I'll quickly show you guys, is you can come over here and go Shift A, search and get a mix, get a mix shader. And then all you have to do is go Shift A, search and type in trans for transparent. Put that into the bottom socket. And then you can take this alpha output and it'll use that alpha channel in the factor here. And at the moment it's inverted. So if that happens to you, all you have to do is go Shift A, search and type invert. Get the invert node and place it on here. And now you have leaves over here. And you can at any time come in here and add any leaf text you want. And once you have it set up in the future, it'll be a lot quicker because you already have that texture. You can also select the branches over here and you can give that a material. So I might give that a nice simple shader here of just a dark kind of brown. And that's it. That's how simple it is to create IVs in um, Blender. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time for a, another Blender tutorial. And hopefully you guys check out some of my other stuff as well. I got a whole bunch of cool content on my channel.